The West Virginia Department of Transportation's District 10 is made up of four different counties. In this week's edition of WVDOT in Motion, we take a look at some secondary road work happening there and talk about ditching and why it's so important. Secondary road work is moving along nicely in District 10. We have been able to pave more road miles than we had in any single year in the previous 10 due to the increase fees and funding that has come from the governor. If you've seen road crews out in your area this summer, chances are you've seen them pulling ditches. While it might be 90 degrees and humid outside right now, the importance of proper ditching and drainage come in the colder months. Ditching and really it's called drainage because it's not just ditching, it, it involves the culverts also. Uh, it's really important because it keeps water from standing on the road, uh, forming ice and so forth, but if a road is wet, the asphalt will deteriorate much, much quicker, uh, particularly if it gets the freeze thaw in the winter. Work will continue in all four of District 10's counties through construction season. Be sure if you're out traveling through a work zone to keep an eye out for the safety of the workers and understand that the conditions they work in can be difficult. You know, you're talking working in a 90 degree temperature with the blazing sun, that heat off the asphalt's coming up into their face. They've got their heads down focusing on their work and you have cars going by you at 35 to 75 miles an hour depending on what road you're on. Be sure to stay with us as we take a look at secondary road work happening all across the entire state of West Virginia. We'll see you next week on WVDOT in motion. Thank you.